What's up bros, Dark Ant sent me one of their new MP9 gel ball blasters for free and today we're going to check it out. We get instructions. I got six packets of dehydrated gel balls and I'm not sure how many are in each packet. My guess it's probably about a thousand or at least a thousand. I got two targets, the gel ball blaster, the mag. This is extra gel ball storage that connects to the grip. A forward grip, some more dehydrated gel balls, a charging cable for your battery, and goggles. Oh, here it is. And a lithium battery. So let's take a look at this blaster. You have a fake silencer here that's obviously orange. Here is your trigger. Back here you have a switch or a button to turn the blaster on. If you slide this front piece off, that gives you access to where you're supposed to put the battery. And here's the cable to plug the battery into. And it's kind of cool because this piece is basically like a, a little Picatinny rail. So this is where you're also going to attach your grip. Your mag will also slide on top of here. And as I said earlier, your extra gel ball storage will attach at the bottom. So I think that's a cool addition because during your gel blaster battle, you'll have some extra gel balls right here. You have a rear sight here. Here's what the blaster looks like all put together. I just slid the mag on the top and this actually has a little locking mechanism that you have to actually pop this little switch or this little piece of plastic down and then you can slide on the grip. It kind of stops there and then you pull that little plastic piece up and that locks it into place. All right, so what I need to do next is go charge the battery. And basically you plug it in like that. And then you plug this into your USB port to charge it. And also I need to grow some gel balls. So I'll put this in water and grow some and then we'll come back. All right, guys, I plugged in the battery and right now the light is red. So my guess is that the light will either shut off or it will be green once it's ready. According to the instructions, if the water temperature is at 50 degrees Celsius, these gel balls should be hydrated in about an hour. I just turned on the sink and just, you know, had the water come out pretty hot. I don't have a thermometer to measure it, but hopefully this, will, you know, will make them pretty quickly. It's 934, so I'll come back in an hour and see how they look. All right, guys, it is 1036, so it's been about an hour and two minutes, and you can see these things grew like crazy. It actually looks like I need to separate it into another jar. Probably the ones that are deeper in the water down at the bottom are a little bit bigger. So um, I'll separate them and come back later. But the good thing to note is that it is true. The warmer the water, the faster these gel balls grow. The light is now off, so I'm assuming it's charged. All right, bros, so let's go ahead and load the battery in. And first I'm gonna slide off this little thing here so I can get to the battery compartment. And I'm gonna plug the battery in Let's turn it on and here's the switch right here. And let's try it. Yes, it works. All right, next I put this slide back on here. Like that. I'll turn it off. 
And here's our hopper. And there's one thing that I didn't show you earlier, that once you put it on, you have another one of these things that I think you turn it down and it'll lock it in place. Also on the hopper, there's a door on the top that you slide open this way to load your gel balls. So let's put that on. You slide it on with the hole with the gel balls to come out of in the front. So it should slide on. Here's our front grip and I'm going to slide that on. that locks it into place. All right, so the next thing I have to do is load some gel balls in here, and then we'll go outside and test it. All right, guys, I'm gonna test this MP9 by shooting those targets. All right, now I'm gonna try shooting them from about 20 feet away. All right, now I'm gonna shoot DJ Yonder. This thing is pretty good, it's very accurate, and it's pretty easy to use. It's a little hard to aim with the, the hopper, but like, you can just point and shoot. The first shout out goes to Gabriel's World. The next shout out goes to Clark Daniel Rizzo. The next shout out goes to Gating Akila Hanantaka. The next shout out goes to Itemized CODM. The next shout out goes to Roblox Games Gameplay. The next shout out goes to Pro Kid. The next shout out goes to The King of Music. The next shout out goes to Phil Mod 1. The next shout out goes to Enzo Craft. The next shout out goes to Rommel Jacob Erpello. The next shout out goes to MM Official. The next shout out goes to GWSNLOGYYY. The next shout out goes to Mime. The next shout out goes to Salty. The next shout out goes to Juanita Thompson. The next shout out goes to Romeo Miracles 219. The next shout out goes to Jake Tataran. The next shout out goes to Jeremiah Castro with the Nerf Rival Charger. The next shout out goes to Jeremish Schoolology of Dyson Dyson's Simplicity. The next shout out goes to Bissell Pet Hair Eraser, the Ghost of 213. The next shout out goes to Nerf AC. The next shout out goes to Nell John Vista. The next shout out goes to Sunny Salanga. The next shout out goes to Everest Carmain. The next shout out goes to Dinosaurs Train 2 13 years ago. The next shout out goes to Rabbit Studios 2.1. The next shout out goes to Eat Jazz Health.
If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Be happy. Peace out.